What's up guys, I hope you are having a great day, because today I want to teach you everything about logical operators. As you can see on my screen, I have two constants, variable x and variable y, and right below my variables, I have something which we haven't talked about, but it's pretty necessary to know, and it's called an if statement. And what you basically could do with an if statement is to check the results and output something whether it's true or false. And an if statement is used quite a lot with logical operators, because a logical operator allows you to decide based on whatever is checked. There are four logical operators, so let me add a comment. The first one is double ampersand, which stands for AND. What you will do with the double ampersand is to check whether two operands are non-zero. You will check if it's not false, and if it's true, the output will be 1, so true. So what we could do is to say inside our if statement, and I will create a full video on if statements later on, but we could say that variable x is greater than 21, and variable y is less than 40. If this is true, I want to console.log true inside single quotes. Let's save it. And you can see that nothing is happening because variable x is not greater than 21. So let's change it to 11, save it. And right now, true has been printed out on the screen. We could also add something called an else statement. And we could create another console log, which says false. So if this, whatever is happening inside the parentheses of the if statement is not true, this will be executed. So if we change it back to 21, save it, the output is false. And that's whatever is happening in the else statement. We could also do a check to see if one of the two conditions are true. And that can be done with two vertical bars, which stands for OR. So let's replace the two ampersands with two vertical bars. Right now, variable x is not greater than 21, and variable y is indeed lower than 40. So if we save it, you can see that the output is true. And that is happening because one of the two conditions is true. And be aware of what I'm saying, it does not matter which one, so the left-hand side or the right-hand side is true, but at least one of the two conditions need to be true right here. And that's true because variable y is indeed less than 40. And if we change it to less than 10, the output is false because they are both wrong. We also have the NOT operator, and this is used for Booleans. And let me add a comment, because this is done with an explanation mark, which stands for NOT. So what we could do is to set the values of variable x to true and variable y to false. Now let's remove everything inside our parentheses, and we want to say that NOT variable x. If we save it, the output is false because it's not true. And if we change it to y, the output is true because it's not false. But it is false, so it will turn to a true. The last operator that I want to show you is called the ternary operator. Let me add a comment because it's ternary operator. And while it's pretty difficult to add the expression, so let's go right below. And the ternary operator could be seen as an alternative to an if statement. So let's create a new constant called z, and let's set it equal to something. The ternary operator takes three operands. The first one is the condition. So what we want to check. In our case, let's write down variable x. After the expression, let's hit space followed by a question mark, another space, and then we need to add an expression if the condition is true. So in single quotes, let's add the console log of true, followed by a space, colon, space, single quotes. And inside the second set of single quotes, we need to add a piece of text that will happen if it's not true. So let's say false. Now let's add a semicolon to finish it off. And let's go right below to console.log it, variable z. And you can see that the output is true right here. 
and you can change the value of the two strings to whatever you want. Now let's go over it one more time because this might be pretty weird. What we're doing right here is in one sentence creating an if statement to check for variable x. If it is true, print out true. Otherwise, so a colon, print out false. This was it for this video about logical operators. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.